And good evening. Another weekend, another capital city night spot lights out by order of city officials. This time a reported shooting outside with shell casings found in the middle of the street. This was the Sunday scene outside Fet Music in Providence's Onlyville neighborhood. Disappointed wrestling fans in the parking lot. They came out for a show only to find the venue closed after a 22-year-old man was shot early Sunday morning. Donna Lindsay brought her two sons. Very disappointing because we were expecting this great show that we were, so we were going to be in there for hours and now we're here. The Providence Board of Licenses temporarily shut down Fed at an emergency meeting Sunday. According to police documents obtained by Eyewitness News, patrolmen rolled up to the club at around 1.15. A witness told officers he saw a black shirtless male shot just outside at Dyke and Agnes Streets. The witness said a black sedan sped off, followed by a black pickup. More shots sprayed from the truck before fleeing. Investigators reported finding five 40 caliber shell casings and one live 9 millimeter round at Dyke and Agnes. Fast forward to Sunday afternoon, those shutout wrestling enthusiasts tried to make the most of a bad situation all around. I don't know, everyone's sort of taking it in good spirits. They're giving out free food and all of the wrestlers are hanging out and talking with the fans. So. And the shooting victim sought treatment at Rhode Island Hospital. As for Fed, it will remain closed for 72 hours. Commissioners cited a fear of retaliation in ordering the shutdown. A full hearing is scheduled for next week. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.